and welcome back to the channel in this video we're going to be doing some updates on the crx and a little project that i got kicking around for it i've gotten a few comments about this and honestly i want to put this video out way sooner but i had and still have a few things holding me back at the moment and i'll touch base a little bit more on those as we go throughout the video but here I have a set of rear OEM Honda mud flaps and sure I would have liked the complete set but it's almost impossible to find the front mud flaps for this car. I actually had these mud flaps kicking around the garage for quite some time and I was just looking for the right opportunity to install them and it seemed like this video was the right time so yeah. Now um, when I was younger I actually had a few CRXs and it seemed like one of the first mods I always did was if you want to call it a mod was remove all of the mud flaps because I thought it looked better and now that I'm a little bit older it's the other way around I actually prefer to look with the mud flaps uh, surprise surprise right Now we can move on to the inside of the car I'm sure you've already pieced together that I'm going to be installing a rear strut brace. Now I actually chose the password JDM strut brace mainly because of its color. That's it. I just like the dark uh, bronze color I believe. Um, if you haven't figured it out now I really don't like things that draw attention to me. I, I don't like things that stand out for instance my rear lower control arms. They're not gold, blue, red, chrome or anything like that. Uh, that's why I went with the dark colors. I I just don't like drawing attention to myself um, you know so there's just something that I can't avoid but the, the things I can help like the color of my rear lower control arms yes I will try to keep it as low-key as possible um, now as far as strut brace why am I installing this I'm not expecting it to make the car handle better in any way at all I in fact I don't think it will do anything for handling but uh, the reason I'm installing it is because I just like the look. I like the look of a rear strut brace in a car. I just think it makes it look sporty. Even though there's, in my opinion, I just don't think there's any real benefit to it. Uh, sure, it might help with some minor things or give some minor uh, benefit. But it's nothing major. Uh, yeah, so here's my uh, process of installing that thing. And it just turned out to be a headache. So here's where I'm at. Like any other job, you start off with the hole as small as possible, right? And then you get frustrated because the things don't fit and you just cut out a giant chunk. So that's where I'm at right now. And I just kind of copied it on the passenger side. Now, even with this, what I consider to be a big hole, even with this hole, it still doesn't fit right. So as you can see, I got this panel on this side loose. It's not, a, it's not buttoned up or anything. I'm free to move it uh, wherever I want. And that's the only way I found to get the strut brace installed. Basically, put this side in first and then move this panel around to where I need it in order to get this side of the brace installed. So I hope that makes sense. This is the first time he has experienced audio dropout. I am a synth from the institute hired by the mechanic to explain what's going on here. He is using plastic door trim on the panels that he cut to make it look neater. Personally I think he could have done a better job, but what do I know I am just a synth lol. You should subscribe to his channel once he's done with the CRX he will take it off some sweet dumps error I meant to say sweet jumps. I'm really tired of this job. Exterminate.
just about done here cleaning up it's not perfect but it's also cold out here so i'm not going to spend too much time here but i think it turned out really well looks nice i'm happy with it yeah i think it looks decent uh so what else am i doing on the crx well today is december 10th meaning yesterday was my birthday got a little present for the k series can you guess what it is go ahead leave a comment below no i'm just joking i'll tell you guys it's actually a transmission for the k24 it's a K20Z3, so it's out of a 2007 Civic Si, six-speed manual with a limited slip differential. Really excited about that. First try. Now this part took quite some time to come in. It's a OEM Honda emergency brake boot. So I had to order it. It came in from Japan. That's why it took so long. But I'm really happy to have it. It looks super clean. Now if I could only find an actual emergency brake handle, that would be cool. Now it's time for some brake upgrades on a CRX. Let's start off with the proportioning valve. Now this is a 4040 valve. It's stamped right there. It's kind of hard to see, but it is there. Okay, I got this off of eBay. It's used, obviously. And all they did was cut the hard lines off of it, which is uh, perfectly fine. All I have to do is remove these old fittings. It was a little dirty when it came in, so I gave it a quick cleaning. Nothing crazy, but it looks decent now. So put that aside. And next up, I have a master cylinder off of a 91 Integra, which is a 15 16th internal bore. And uh, I bought this thinking I could just bolt it up to the CRX on the original brake booster and everything be all set. I did not know they have different uh, mounting orientations. So this is not going to bolt up to the CRX's brake booster. So at that point, I had two options. It was either return this master cylinder and get one for a Civic EX, I believe. Or I could stay with the Integra master cylinder and just buy a matching brake booster, which is what I did. And the reason why I did this is because the brake booster on the CRX is old, rusty, and crusty. And honestly, I was going to replace it anyway. So it just made sense to upgrade. You know, might as well stay with what I have already. So this is going to just bolt right up to here. It's really tricky one hand. But yeah, that's going to go on there just like that. So... Uh, there isn't much more to say about these parts, uh, other than let's just go ahead and put them on a CRX. Pokemon is Pikachu. Next up, as you can see, we have a table full of K Tune parts. Now, full disclosure as of now, I do have a partial sponsorship with K Tune. 
Uh, just so we're clear, this does not mean I get parts for free. I still have to pay for parts. I just get a very small discount. That's all it means. And this is uh, the only things I've gotten at, as of now with my discount. Everyone who's watched my videos knows I'm no stranger to k parts. And all those parts on my engine have been paid for out of my pocket. No discount, no anything. Okay, I just want to put that out there. I don't want people thinking I'm getting parts for free now because that's not the case. I'm still paying for everything. It's just a very small discount. Okay. Okay, so first up, we have a updated bracket for the uh, alternator relocation kit. Uh, someone over at K-Tune saw one of my videos and saw how I wasn't too happy with the... Uh, the old version of the kit so he offered to send me the updated version which is basically these updated brackets and the hardware kit okay and this ultimately is what led to our uh, sponsorship okay and uh where else so we got that he sent this to me next up we have some toe adjustment uh arms for the rear trailing arms uh, I like these because on a CRX, if you watch my previous videos, you know that one of the bolts that go into the body of the car actually broke off. And that's why I had to cut the hole into the body just to get uh, access to the captive nut that's inside of there. So with this, I thought it'd be a really good idea because we could bolt down that bolt that actually uh, tines into the body and leave it there permanently. You don't have to mess with it anymore. Uh, seeing that it's already a sketchy situation with that specific bolt So we could just tighten it down and leave it and if we have to adjust for tow in the uh, In the rear trailing arm we could do it from right here All you have to do is turn this sleeve and it's going to adjust the toe So I thought it's pretty neat instead of having to keep mess with that bolt that's already given us problems So that's why I picked up these And then I picked up The camber kit for the rear trailing arms because I have a set of skunk 2 trailing arms so I'm gonna put a video in right here so I could show you but it turns out I actually purchased some fake skunk 2 parts yeah go figure right and uh it was still pretty much full price I paid over a hundred dollars for those things and it turns out that they were fake um yeah so that's why I got these so moving on is a shifter. Okay, and I know it's really early to have this shifter. There's really no reason at all for me to have this right now. The engine is not in the car or anything like that. But honestly, uh, I think it was Black Friday that it was on sale. So I took advantage of the sale. It's the only reason why I picked it up. I know it's going to be in its box for a very long time. But can't pass up a good sale, right? Next up, all I have here is a spring and I guess that's a bracket. All it does is hold in the dipstick on the valve cover because they have a tendency to pop out. So that's what this is for. And here we have a set of four piston flywheel bolts. Looking really good here. As well as a Fidanza lightweight flywheel. Wait, we can make this look better. This new camera looks great. I'm really happy with it and now I can finally retire my GoPro. At the moment, the engine is filled with about eight quarts of oil. I know it's a lot, but I did that to keep the internal submerged in as much oil as I possibly can to help prevent rust. So some of that oil needs to be drained out. Since I don't know how long the engine will be sitting for, I want to occasionally crank it over via the starter. But first I need to plug off any hole where oil can leak from, so I'm using old sensors that I have laying around to do that. Of course the old sensors and solenoids will get replaced with new parts when the time comes. I'm even going to install an old knock sensor because it plugs up a hole that I no longer have to worry about. Let's just say I have a 3 year old that's roaming these neck of the woods and she kind of does what she wants.
for the time being this is going to be one potential oil leak that I'm just going to have to deal with. As you can see with the engine on the engine stand there really isn't enough space for me to install the rear main seal and sure I could probably do it and get away with it but I really don't want to take that chance. I don't need this thing leaking on me when I have the transmission already installed. So I'd rather wait until I could get the engine separated from the engine stand and then I'll install the rear main seal. Evacuation beginning. Evacuation come up. Evacuation complete. 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 Evacuation complete. All right, so it's just about the end of the video. Uh, let's wrap a few things up here. Uh, number one, the engine. I'm really happy with the numbers. It's been a while since I built the engine, so it's it's good to see consistent numbers as far as the compression. Uh, it sounds healthy. Everything looks good, so I'm really happy. It's like a, a weight lifted off on my shoulders. Um, at the beginning of this video, I mentioned some things were kind of holding me back and really like delaying this video. And that was an order that I put in through 4 Piston Racing. Now even to this day, I check on that order and it still says processing. It's been over a month and it still says processing. So I got in touch with them and they said that the part is out of stock. So there's nothing I could do. It's pretty much just a waiting game. And I knew I wasn't going to make the cut for this video. So that's why I just stopped delaying this video just for that. It just wasn't going to make the cut. Um, what's next for the CRX? Because I always get that question. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is a fuel system, meaning I have to drop the gas tank. And it's winter time right now. Nobody wants to be doing work like that in winter. 
So uh, obviously it's going to be some time before I can put out the next video on the CRX. But I've already started ordering parts for that little project that we got going on there. Uh, but yeah, and uh, let's do a giveaway. Got a K-Tune banner. Now, I already have one. I'm sure you've already seen it in my garage. I purchased one a while ago. Uh, so I'm going to be giving this one away as well as those uh, fake Skunk 2 camber kits that are on the CRX right now. I'm going to be giving that away because even though I'm going to be switching over to the K-Tuned ones, I paid over $100 for them so they have some value, right? And honestly, they are very functional as far as adjusting camber on your car. So there's absolutely no need for me to throw them out when someone else could get use out of them right they work for egs eks efs uh what i'll do is follow me on instagram and send me a message or send me some pictures of of your car you know how you could put these uh camera kits to use or or your support for k-tuned just send me some images and i'll pick two people if you're within the states i'll ship them out for free if you're out of state you're gonna have to pay for your own shipping unfortunately but yeah just two item guys and i know it's gonna go really fast so jump on that okay uh what else i think that's it for this video we're just gonna come to a close here and uh don't forget to leave a comment below if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down um anyone could tell i put a lot of work into this video right so please give it a thumbs up uh, it means a lot to me i appreciate the support from all you people who love the crx just as much as i do um, the thumbs up just really helps with YouTube's algorithm and help to get more exposure on my video. With that being said, thanks for watching.